Hey folks, Jeff here with MissionMusician.com. Today I wanted to show you how I route uh, my when I mix using reference tracks. I wrote a, a post on the blog a couple of days ago and I couldn't exactly express it in written words. So I figured I'd shoot this uh, super quick video just to show you real quick. So all of my tracks... All these tracks up here, all of them, come down to a bus right here, my submix. All my tracks are running to my submix. And then my submix goes out to my master. So on my submix, I have all the bus processing I want to use compression, EQ, uh, tape emulation, you know, that kind of stuff. So when I when I bring in my reference track, I don't want to run it through my submix because it would have all this bus compression on it and it wouldn't make sense. I just want to run it right here. So as you can see, it goes out to here. All my other tracks are coming to submix in the submix. So then you'll notice that I've lowered the volume considerably to match my the, the volume of the track that I'm mixing. This is, as you can see, you can hardly see <laughs> any waveforms here. It's just a complete block. It's a master, it's a professional master recording. So how I would do this is I would listen, I would mute my submix, which is where all my other mixes are coming. Unmute this, listen to this. Put us on my hands, stop it down the money, and I made up a plan. And then... I would go back and unmute my mix and listen to it. Never forget, I will always adore you, it. Okay, and then I would I would reference it against the, this track. Now this is a track that the artist sent me, um, and it's it's not really an exact match to the song, but it's I mean it's close enough. I mean this is the kind of mix that he likes: warm guitars, bright snare. Um, bright vocals so I would use this reference to mix my song and if if I listen to this I can tell that I haven't done a great job of mixing so far because if you listen to Put us on my hands, stop it down the money and I made up the plan. sounds to me like in this mix the snares a little brighter a little more in your face if you listen to my mix it's not there yet we'll never forget. I will always adore you actually as I'm listening I think the snare in the original one sounds a little bit more fuller so I may I may go in and let's say let's see and I'm just doing this off the cuff so bear with me so in in order to help my mix out a little bit now Actually, what I would really do is go back to um, the snare track and the EQ it. But if I was mastering this song, this is how I would try to fix it in the master, if, if that makes sense. So I would, the snare sounds a little beefier, so I would come around somewhere around 200 and see if that helped. Oops. We'll never forget I will always adore you But can't anymore waste my time Feeling regrets And I think of those times You laid in my arms And I held you beside me And it seems every night When you visit my dreams That you won't step away In the midst of it Also, I want to point something out. Whenever you add EQ or compression or something like that, you always want to level check to make sure that the volume that you're adding, like I'm adding, you know, 3 dB here and, I don't know, 2.1 here. So I'm actually adding volume to the track, making it sound louder. So when I bypass the EQ, naturally the louder version sounds better. 
So I'm gonna back down the output and just kind of gain match it here. And you can tell by looking at these meters right here, it's pretty close now. Okay. So just by making these two little tiny EQ moves, it, it already feels fuller to me. Um, but I would still reference it, listen to the reference. But like I said, I, I would go back to the snare track and EQ it there in the mix phase. Um, but that's not really what this video is about. I just wanted to explain the routing that I normally do when I do a reference track. It always goes to a master fader and my mix always goes to a sub mix, which then goes to the master fader. And then I can just mute that, listen to that. Or another option is you can just drag this all the way to the end of the session and just, you know, click here and then click here if you don't want to have to worry about muting and unmuting. So that's it. Uh, if you have any comments, just leave them below and uh, I'll be posting some more cool stuff on, on the blog. And thanks for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you soon.